Yo, so a lot of people were asking me how do I snipe, how do you make all this MT, I have about 1.7 mil right now, but a few players went down to 1.7, I had about 3 mil before, but I pretty much got my MT from sniping and wagering, a lot of the players that I have right now I got from sniping, if you checked out any of my previous videos, I got Magic for 150k, I got LeBron James for about 300k as well, and Anthony Davis I got for 11,000, Carmelo for 400,000 when he used to go for 800,000, and Kobe I sniped for about, I think it was like 70k? So pretty much my starting lineup I've sniped and yeah that's just some of the stuff that I ended up sniping that way you guys know that I'm legit I know what I'm talking about to a certain extent you know I'm not an expert at sniping but I do get my snipes I get my MT and I get my players now the first thing that you need to understand about the market is that it refreshes every 15 minutes so for example at 2 o'clock it's going to refresh 215 230 245 and then again at 3 o'clock 315 3.30, 3.45, and then again at 4 o'clock. So every 15 minutes, the market is set to refresh. Now that doesn't mean that the market's gonna refresh right at 3.30, or right at 4.30, right at 5 o'clock. That just means that's when you put your filter in, and you start sniping. Now the number one way to know if the market refreshed is if a new card popped up in your filter. Say for example, you're going for, you know, an amethyst, and nothing's popping up, and then as soon as something pops up, that means that the market refreshed. And another way of finding out if the market refreshed is if you do it with other people. For example, Twitch is a perfect place to do the refreshes because a lot of people are doing it. Just go into a chat, see if they're doing the refreshes, and then they'll let you know when the market refreshes. Everybody helps each other out. You can go to Twitch, you can go to my channel, check out other people as well. And now let's get into the filters and also some of the items on 2K that go for a little something. That way you can start sniping and making your own MT. Alright, now let me give you guys a quick filter that you can use to make MT. You want to go to Amethyst, and then you want to go minimum buyout 500, maximum let's go about to, let's go 7k just to see what, you know, what cards are sitting at 7k or below. And then Driving Dunk is going to be 28, set that to 28, go ahead and search the auction, wait for it to load, let's see if there's any cards that go for 7k or below right now. Okay, so none. So pretty much if a card pops up, you want to buy it, let's see how high we can go before anything pops up. Let's do, let's do about 8.5. Now this filter pretty much filters out Chris Paul. I know nobody wants to snipe a Chris Paul. So definitely add Driving Dunk 28. Okay, so wow, you can definitely go a lot higher than I thought on this filter. So let's see, 10k? Now let's go 9950. Let's see if there's any cards that pop up for this much. 9950, let's see. Okay, so Harden goes for about 9k. Uh, Mark Aguirre goes for about 9k. What else? Drogic goes for 9k. Uh, pretty Okay, so now those are like the cheapest Amethyst right now. James Harden, Drogic, and of course Mark. Nobody wants to buy Mark. <laughs> but okay, so now you understand. So 9k. Alright, so you go back to your filter. And let's say we go down to about... Now say, like for example, right now for me, if I was doing this filter, the cheapest one was like 9,000 for James Harden. I want to go to about 7500 and I want to refresh. So as soon as the market is about to refresh, say it's going to be, you know, for example, say right now it's 226. In 4 minutes the market's going to refresh. So go chill for a bit, go watch a video, go watch one of my videos and then just chill and then right at 230, you want to go into the market, put this filter in, amethyst, driving dunk 28, minimum 500, maximum 7500 and just keep refreshing until anything pops up. Anything that you see in the market, you buy it. You already checked the market, the cheapest card goes for 9000 So even if you buy the card at 7.5, you buy it, you put it back on the auction for 9000 you get taxed 10%, you make about 8.1, you make 600 MT. That's not bad. You Again, you can go lower, you can go a little bit higher, depending how much you want to make You know, per card. Uh, for me, I would do 7.5. I still make 600 on a card. Uh, it doesn't mean that only cards that are 7.5 are gonna, you know, pop up. You might see a card for 750, 1,000, 2,000. This pretty much just, you know, sets a limit. Anything above 7.5, you will not see. So again, you can go down to 5,000. If you do 5,000, you'll definitely make more money if you find anything, but you limit yourself a lot more. So just me mess with it. Look at the market. See what cards go for what. That's one filter. Now I'm gonna show you guys another filter. Alright, so another filter is the Offensive Consistency Filter. Now this one's pretty common, uh, a lot of people have been using this one for pretty much the whole year. You want to go down to Offensive here, and you want to set it to about 91. You can definitely go a little higher, but 91 is pretty much the basic. And you want to go to minimum 500, so 500 minimum. And then maximum you want to go up to about 1200. And pretty much, again, when the market's about to refresh, start refreshing, you know, press your X. 
and your option just keep going until something pops up anything that pops up on this filter you want to buy it anything you don't have to put gold you know you don't have to put silver amethyst diamond anything that pops up you're going to buy it and you're gonna make profit if a gold pops up even if he doesn't go for much you can quick sell for 1350 bam you made a hundred and, and something MT but yeah that filter is definitely useful as well 1200 maximum now in case you were wondering what kind of cards pop up for this let's go to just minimum 500 go ahead and let the market refresh and then this is the way you can see you know what cards pop up or what could potentially pop up so Chris Paul will pop up uh, pretty much all the decent you know gold current diamonds you know all the good cards that you can get you definitely want to buy any card that pops up and let's just go through uh, some of the cards Steph Curry's in there you know no, no crappy cards man no Chris Paul's just anything that pops up in that filter you're gonna wanna buy so fit minimum 500 maximum 1250 1200 1300 whatever you wanna do you can mess with it pretty basic stuff hopefully you get some good stuff if you do tweet it at me using the hashtag snipe prince or squad xc i'll definitely look at it and maybe you'll make my top five minimum 500 maximum 500 now you've seen my top five snipes you've seen people get you know diamonds for 500 you can definitely snipe with even 500 mt you don't need millions you don't need you don't need a hundred thousand you don't need fifty thousand you just need pretty much five thousand mt and you're pretty much uh, good to go so minimum 500 maximum 500 and there you guys have it just a quick little tutorial on how to snipe i gave you guys three filters that you could use to get you started that way you can start sniping making mt and getting your final lineup that you want for nba 2k16 and if you guys want more tutorials like this make sure to leave a like let's aim for about 69 likes if we get 69 i know you guys want more videos subscribe and join squad xc i'll definitely have you know future videos if you guys want more I can definitely go into more detail on what other cards to get because this is just the basic stuff. I didn't want to make a 20 minute video. So we'll just start with, you know, something simple, three filters when the market refreshes, etc. Just let me know down in the comments if you want to see more. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Join Squad XC, and I'll see you guys in the next video.